Hello friends, my name is Srinivas and welcome to my channel Tech Studio 82. Please visit our website at www.techstudio82.com. Before watching this video, please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press bell icon for latest updates. In this video, I will show you how to download and install Oracle Database 21C Express Edition software on Windows operating system, which is the latest version. And also we will see how to configure this database by using SQL Developer, which is a standalone application. This we are going to implement in three steps. First, we will download the Oracle Database 21C Express Edition software from the Oracle website. And secondly, we are going to install that software. And finally, we are going to configure the database with the help of SQL Developer software, which is a standalone application. So let's get started with the first step that is download. Before forwarding, as a prerequisite, you should have a good internet connection for downloading the files. And secondly, your PC should be installed with the WinRAT software for extracting the zip files. In this download step, I am providing you two options to download the software. The first option is we can directly visit Oracle official website for downloading the Oracle Database 21C Express Edition software. For this, we need an Oracle account. So if you don't have an account, you can create. Trust me, creating an Oracle account is as simple as creating a Gmail account. Second option is I have downloaded the software and uploaded to the Google Drive. Just in the below description part, I have given that link. Just click on that link. You don't need any credentials for this. Just you can directly download the Oracle Database 21C Express Edition software from my Google Drive. Okay, I will show you the first option. Open Google in any web browser and search with the keyword Oracle 21C Express Edition download. On the screen, you can see Google search results. The first link, we are going to visit the first link, which is Oracle official website. Just click on that link. It will direct to the Oracle official website. This is the Oracle official website. On the screen, you can see Oracle database 21C Express Edition. This is for the Windows operating system, which is 64 bit. And this is for the Linux operating system. Right now, I'm going to install on Windows operating system. So I'm going to download this Windows 64 bit version. So just click on this link, your download will get started. So here you can see your download got started, which is 1.8 GB. Just click on show all. On the screen, you can see the download is in progress. It may take some five to 10 minutes. It all depends upon your internet bandwidth connection. See, my file got downloaded successfully. Now just click on show in folder. You can see the file in the downloads folder. This is my downloads folder. At present, Oracle is allowing to download the software free, for free. But in future, it may ask for the Oracle account. So it's better to create an Oracle account. This is one method of downloading the Oracle database 21C Express Edition software. The second option is I already said to you, I have uploaded the same file in one of my Google drives. I, below I have given that Google drive link. Just click on that link without any Oracle account credentials. You can directly download the software from the below link. So let's move on to the second step that is installation part. In this second step, we are going to install Oracle database 21C Express Edition software, which we have downloaded. In order to install the software, first we need to extract this zip file. Right click and click on extract to Oracle XE folder. Your extraction is in progress. Finally, zip file got extracted on the screen. You can see the folder. Just double click on this. Below you can see the setup file. Just right click and click on run as administrator. It's always recommended whenever you are installing any software on your PC, just run as administrator. Click on run as administrator. On the screen, you can see the installation wizard. It is preparing to install. So welcome to installation wizard for Oracle database 21C Express Edition. Just click on the next, accept the terms in the license agreement. Just click on this, click on next. You can see the destination folder. We need to select the destination folder for the installation. If you want to change this, you can change it. But uh, right now I want the default one. Let it the default one. Just click on the next. On the screen, you can see the Oracle database information. Specify the database password. This is very important. Please remember the password that you are providing for the sys and system and PDB admin accounts. Right now, I am giving as admin in small case. Repeat the password. You need to confirm the password. Admin. And click on the next. On the screen, you can see the summary. These are all the parameters that will be applied for the installation. Okay, this is the destination folder and this is the Oracle home and this is the Oracle base. So just we are good to go for the click on install to begin the installation. Just click on the install. You can see the installation is in progress. It may take uh, some 
15 to 20 minutes. Have some patience. It all depends upon your system hardware components. You can see the pop-up. Just click on all access. On the screen, you can see a pop-up window. It is configuring Oracle XE listener. Right now, it is configuring Oracle XE database. You can see 100% complete Oracle XE database configured successfully. It is performing post XE database creation actions. Finally, we have successfully installed Oracle database 21C Express edition on our PC. You can see the connection information on the screen. This is the local host and this is a pluggable database. This is very important and this is the express URL. You better take a screenshot. Please take a screenshot of. After taking the screenshot, click on finish. So far, we have successfully downloaded and installed the Oracle Database 21C Express Edition software. We will move on to the final step that is the configuration. Firstly, we will download and open the standalone SQL Developer software and later we will configure a database connection in SQL Developer and finally we will unlock HR scheme. So let's move on to the first step. Open Google in any web browser and search with the keyword SQL Developer Download. This is the one. Just click on this. Here you can see Oracle SQL Developer Downloads. The first one, just click on the first link. It will direct to the official website. This is the Oracle official website. From here, you can download the SQL Developer, which is the latest version 21.4.2. I'm, I'm downloading for the 64-bit with JDK 8 included. The size of this file is 436 MB. Just click on this download. You must accept the Oracle license agreement. Just click on the Oracle license agreement. You will be redirected to the login screen in order to download the file. Just click on the download button. You need to give in the login credentials. I have given my Oracle login credentials. Just click on sign in. Here you can see your download got started, which is 436 MB. Just click on the show all. Here you can see the download status. It all depends upon your internet bandwidth connection. Finally, I have downloaded the SQL developer software, which is a standalone software. Just click on the show in folder. It will direct to the downloads folder. This is my downloads folder. This is the one. Right click and click on extract to SQL developer. Your extraction is in progress. File got extracted. Double click on this folder. Here you can see SQL developer icon, which is the application icon. This one. Just right click and open. Your PC will throw a pop-up, but no issues. Install anyway. Click on install anyway. Here you can see it is loading. This is a standalone software. It will give you a pop-up. Just click on no. On the screen, you can see Oracle SQL developer welcome page. Just click on this pop-up window. OK. Right now, we are going to configure database connection. For this, we need a new connection. Just click on this plus icon. A pop-up window will be appear to you. This is a new select database connection. You need to give the name as whatever the name that you want to give. Right now, I am giving a system. And the username should be system in small letters. At the time of uh, installation, we have given the password for sys system and pdb admin as admin. So I am giving as admin the password. And coming to the connection details, host name local host and port is 1521 and SID. For this, we need to give a service name. At the time of installation, at the last step, I requested you to take a screenshot of the last finished step. You can see this pluggable database localhost 1521xepdb1. This should be provided at the connection here. So we need to give the service name as xepdb1. Okay, just click on test connection. You can see the status as success. Click on connect. Now we have successfully created system connection. Here you can see. I'm just querying the database. Select star from tab. On the screen, you can see this metadata tables, all these metadata tables. Now I'm going to unlock HR schema. Actually, the fact is in Oracle 21C Express Edition, we need to manually install HR schema. So in the below description, I have provided a link for to download the HR schema related file. Just click on that link. You can able to download that file. On the screen, you can see in my downloads folder, this file, this zip file. This is all about HR schema. Just right click and extract the file. The file got extracted. Double click and copy this. And we need to paste in the C drive location. C, apps, double click on apps, double click on this folder and double click on the product folder 21c and double click on the db home xe here you can see demo folder double click on this here you can see the schema folder double click on this here we need to paste this folder 
right click and paste open this human resources folder you can see multiple sql files all these are related to the hr schema so we are going to execute one by one with the help of sql develop first we are going to execute this hr underscore main this is the first file to be executed for this you need to copy this path click on this path right click copy and we need to paste in the sql developer please make sure that we are connected to the system user go back to the human resource folder the first SQL file that we need to execute is hr underscore main. This we need to copy. Open the SQL developer and give the hr underscore main dot SQL. In order to execute this SQL statement, we need to specify at symbol space at the starting of this line. Now we are going to run this statement. Click on this run statement. On the screen, you can see a pop up window. We need to enter variables that is enter value for one which is specify password for HR as parameter one. I am giving HR as password. Click on OK. We need to enter value for two. Here we need to specify default table space for HR as parameter two. So I am providing as users. Click on OK. We need to specify temporary table space for HR as parameter three. For this, I am giving as temp, temp, click on OK. We need to specify password for sys as parameter 4. At the time of installation, we have provided sys system and pdb admin password as admin in small case. So the same I am going to provide over here, admin in small case. Click on OK. You need to specify log path as parameter 5. I am providing dollar oracle underscore home demo schema log. Just click on OK. And we need to specify connection string as parameter 6. We need to enter value for 6. I am giving value as localhost 1521 xcpdb1. This is the pluggable database. So we need to specify this connection string. Click on OK. You can see the log over here. So far, we have successfully created HR user. Now we need to create a new connection for this HR user. Click on this plus icon, new connection. Give the name as whatever the name you would like to give. I'm giving as HR and username as HR in small case and password as HR in small case. And this for connection details, I need to provide the service name as xcpdb1, which is a pluggable database. Click on the test connection. You can see the status as success and click on connect. We have successfully connected to the HR user. Just querying the HR database, select star from tab. You can see in this user, there are no tables. Now we are going to dump the tables, rows, etc. all related to the HR schema. Let's go back to the HR schema folder. Here you can see this SQL files. Now I'm going to execute some of these files, not all the files, some of these files. In the notepad, I have created all these SQL statements. I'm going to execute all these SQL statements. I'm going to copy all these SQL statements and paste it in the SQL developer. Control C, copy, paste it in the SQL developer. Paste. Now just run this script. You can press F5 from the keyboard or you can directly click this icon. SQL scripts execution is in progress. On the screen, you can see the successful log. So far, we have executed SQL scripts that are related to the HR schema and dumped the data. Now let's query the HR database. Select star from tab, run statement. Here you can see the tables. On the screen, you can see the tables. Let's query one of the table. Employees, select star from employees, run the statement. On the screen, you can see the data over here. In this way, we install HR schema in Oracle database 21C Express edition. In the below description section, I have given all these SQL statements and also parameter. You can please check out that. I have given the parameter one, two, only this will change parameter four. You can see except parameter four, all the constant values, there won't be any changes. And you need to execute the second file and you need to execute all these files, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh file. Please check out the description section. You can find all these statements. So far, we have downloaded and successfully installed Oracle 21C Express Edition software on Windows operating system. We have done the configurations with the help of SQL developer and we installed HR schema and also created new connections. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press bell icon for latest updates. Please like and also share my videos with your friends and drop a comment. Your comments are highly valuable. Thank you.